Hello and welcome to Crooked History. I'm Dr. Professor Einstein Crooked, and today's episode is about the history of quantum theory. After this episode, you'll realize that truly nothing is real. Let's get started. Now, as a professor of communications, I do not comprehend this theory. However, I do understand it, and that's what counts. Basically, what this theory says is if you have different outcomes for a given situation, all of those outcomes are equally true until you actually check what happened. For example, if you were to flip a coin, it would be both heads and tails until you actually checked how it landed, meaning that the very act of observation actually changes the outcome of an experiment. This theory was first devised by President George W. Bush in order to justify the American invasion of Iraq. You see, good old Georgie knew that there were not weapons of mass destruction in Iraq. However, according to this new theory, unless he actually checked, there both were and were not WMDs, thereby justifying a large-scale invasion. Now, as you can see, this is a rather big theory, rather important, rather mind-boggling. That's why for the rest of this episode, we will be focusing on the effects of this theory. First starting off with animal rights activist Arnold Schrodinger. Now, he realized that if he were to poison his cat with radiation, unless he actually checked, that cat would be both dead and alive, meaning he could not be charged with animal abuse. Schrodinger went on to found the organization PETA, which revels in this dichotomy, because while it claims to be for animal rights, it also kills 80% of the animals in its shelters. Another field this newfound theory has been applied to is mathematics. Now, if you've ever made a mistake on a simple arithmetic problem, you know that there are many possible answers to a simple addition problem. That's why in the great mathematics textbook by George Orwell, 1984, it's noted that 2 plus 2 equals 5. However, quantum theory was not applied until one of the greatest academic proclamations of our time. What's 9 plus 10? 21? Yes, indeed. Not only are there multiple different possible answers, but according to this new quantum theory, all of them are true. 21 is as precise of an answer as 19 is, thereby destroying the very foundation truth of mathematics. Indeed, although critics at first derided this newfound idea, you stupid. a group of philosophers in the 1960s released an essay entitled Strawberry Fields Forever, in which they proclaimed, Nothing is real. From then on, this idea spread like a wildfire among the masses, leading to the rise of quote-unquote stupid people. Now, these people are not stupid, however, they live in an alternative version of reality that, according to quantum theory, is as equally true. For example, anti-vaxxers. People who oppose vaccines base most of their information on a much of debunked research made by a rogue doctor. However, they have not actually read this research, probably because they're barely literate, but that's beside the point. However, because they have not even read this research, it is to them both true and false, thereby giving proof to their ideas. Another, even better example is the denial of climate change. When people who deny climate change say that the science isn't in yet, it's not the fact that it's not true, it's simply the fact that they have not read it. Meaning that it is both true and false, furthermore meaning that climate change may be both true and false, thereby proving that if you deny climate change, it's just like saying that 9 plus 10 equals 21. Well, that's it for Crooked History. I'm Dr. Professor Einstein Crooked, this is Jeeves, and I'll see you next time, where we'll be discussing the real estate practices of boll weevils. But until then, stay smart.